Good morning. <laughs> Where is number one? There you go. Good morning, everyone. I hope you are well today. I am doing a little festive vlog, which I'm really excited about. It's the 1st of December, as you can probably tell by my advent calendar. And I'm just feeling super festive. Today I'm setting up all my decorations, which there won't be many, but I'm, you know, getting into the spirit and putting a few extra little knickknacks out and stuff. And yeah, it's just gonna be filled with lots of festiveness and that, and I'm really excited. But I'm gonna start out by doing my makeup. So I've just shopped my stash and pulled out a few really nice little like Christmassy things like my Stila Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow and Gold Goddess. I always pull that product out around the holidays um, as well as my beloved Stila Liquid Lipstick in Baso Shimmer. This one looks like a Christmas bauble on your mouth. It is beautiful. I'm really excited to try that. I know though, red lip, gold eye for Christmas, groundbreaking. I'm a simple girl and this is the kind of makeup I love to do. So first off I'm going to prep my skin. I'm going to use the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. This is an SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. You guys know that I've recently discovered this product and have absolutely fallen in love. It is such an amazing sunscreen and I'm really thrilled to announce that the next portion of the video is sponsored by Purito, which is amazing. Purito have sent over this gorgeous little Christmas gift box. Look how beautiful it is. It has all this Christmassy stuff on the side. So we are going to unbox this together now. Probably actually a little bit easier to do this on the floor. <laughs> Ooh. And all of these little palette things, by the way, are made of vegetables. So they just decompose in the compost. Um, so they're not made of plastic or anything, which is great. So this is a little pack full of little samples to try out. Comes with this, the Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. The main reason I love the sunscreen is that it's unscented and it's essential oil free. So they do have another version, which is like with fragrance, but they've released this one and is fantastic for those of you like me that prefer unscented unfragranced um, skincare products. The screens that they use in these are some of the new generation chemical filters that are excellent at protecting against both UVA and UVB rays and they're photo stable as well so they don't break down in the sun and they're not the kind of chemical filters that are bad for the environment so this is a reef safe sunscreen as well. Just so thrilled with it, absolutely love this product and stoked that it comes in this little Christmas gift box. It also comes with this, this is a new product from them, the Dermide Sicker Barrier sleeping pack so this is also unscented this is a product that's designed to hydrate and nourish the skin as well as provide a little bit of a barrier preventing transepidermal water loss for the skin so I think this one is best for people with a drier skin type because it does contain coconut oil which can be a little bit um, heavy for more sort of oily skin types like myself but it is packed with really nice moisturizing hydrating and occlusive ingredients which I think are perfect for a dry skin type comes with this cute little purito mirror as well what else is in here <laughs> Oh, how gorgeous. This is a little Korean bookmark. Ooh, and some snacks. Oh, so cute. Ooh, there's some chocolate money down there as well. That's so adorable. So the good news is I actually have a giveaway for three of these boxes, which I'm going to be doing over on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There'll be a winner from each social media platform. I figured that most of you are going to have at least one of those platforms that you can enter in. So I'll have all the instructions on how you can enter the giveaway in the description below this video. Yeah, so there'll be three winners and you'll each win your very own little Purito Christmas gift box. Thank you so much to Purito for sponsoring this video and the giveaway. I'm really excited for a few of you to try out the sunscreen because it is just such a love product of mine. So good luck! So moving back on with the makeup play date, I'm going to apply a little bit of primer. I'm using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Just a little bit of this. And then the foundation that I'm using today is my current favorite one as well that I also mentioned in my November favorites. It's the Lancome Taint Adol Ultra Wear Foundation. I've got the shade 008 Beige Opal. So I do two pumps and I use a beauty sponge. I just love the way that foundation looks. It's a really nice kind of satin finish, but it has the longevity that my more sort of normal to oily skin needs. So I love it. And then for concealer, I've been trying out this new one by Revolution, the Conceal and Hydrate in the shade C1. This is really new to me. So I'm still kind of playing with it. So I haven't really formed much of an opinion yet. A little bit on this blemish here as well. I actually did like the original, the Conceal and Define. I thought it was a pretty good concealer. Um, not necessarily my favorite, but I think it's a nice one. I find that this one doesn't have very much coverage, or at least that's sort of how I feel. Um, it's a definitely more sort of medium-y sort of coverage 
product. But yeah, let me try it for a bit longer before I give you guys my verdict on that one. The powder, I'm just gonna go with my Models Prefer Mineral Veil, the Huge. I just love this one because it is so reliable. It sets my makeup really well, helps it to last better throughout the day, but it also just looks so nice on the skin. It just looks really unpowdery because I hate powdery looking powder. <laughs> I might have a normal to oily skin type, but I do not like like looking matte. I prefer to have a bit more of a glow. So I love this product. I'm actually going to contour a bit today, which is something I haven't done in ages. I just really fell off contouring this year in general. I just tend to reach for bronzer and just warm up my face rather than contouring. I also don't really need to contour. Like I'm quite lucky that I've got reasonably like defined cheekbones. They're soft, like they're not sharp, but I have a divot here, a natural divot that creates a shadow anyway. But I'm gonna do a little bit because I'm gonna have quite a full on face. So I'm using the Jordana Sculpt and Go. Um, this is in the shade number one love this product it's an old favorite of mine it's very subtle I like to blend it out with a sponge because it blends it in really nicely but it is quite a subtle effect and then for bronzer I pulled out this one the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in the shade Fertilite it's been a long time since I've used this it has been discontinued I believe in Australia but I think it might be still available in the US but don't quote me on that because I need to double check these things always change a tea break while that truck parks. <laughs> I do find the noise around here a little bit hard when I'm trying to film. We've got double glazing in our bedroom and upstairs so it really helps to keep it a lot more quiet but where I film in the bathroom this window in front of me isn't double glazed so you hear like every little street noise it's really frustrating. It's a Sunday so I didn't expect there to be delivery trucks today which are usually the most noisy things that come past and they try and park they create that beeping noise and it's so frustrating. <laughs> I think I'll wait to do my blush and highlight later on. I think I'm gonna go in and do my brows. I'm using the e.l.f. Brow Kit in Ash. Very well loved product. This is about my fourth one that I've ever gone through, so it's definitely one of those like old school holy grails. And then I'm gonna top that with the Marcel Perfect Brow in, what's this shade? Light to medium. And zoom you guys in for this part. So we are using the Smashbox Covershop Minimalist Eye Palette. Well, look at the cover, isn't it cool? Just got a bunch of nice neutral shades which will create a nice sort of base for that glitter. I'm gonna start out with, you guessed it, this little neutral one right here. A nice little transition shade. We'll pop a little of that under the eye as well. Then I'm gonna take this nice little medium brown color down here and a little small blending brush. This is the number four by Hourglass. And just define the crease a bit with this. I think I'll go in with that same brush and add a little bit of this deeper chocolate as well. Looks a bit warm, but I think if we just put a little bit right in there. Yeah, that's just like adding that little bit of depth I was hoping for. Must say the mirror on this is so bad. It's like wibbly wobbly, do you see that? And then I'm just gonna take my original blending brush and just soften that a bit. I'm gonna go in with this soft gold shade here. It's a very, very soft gold though. It's like a, more like kind of a champagne. I'm just going to lay this down as a bit of a base for the glitter. Um, it's not particularly like super festive gold or anything. It's actually quite wearable for day to day. So I'm gonna do an eyeliner now. I'm gonna use the Annabelle Waterline Matte Coal Eyeliner in black, blackest black, sorry. And I'm just going to tight line, which is the grossest thing ever to watch. <laughs> I literally stick it in my eye and shut my eye and go like that. It's getting a bit blunt, starting to scratch my eye. It's not healthy. And then I'm just going to add some to the top lash line as well. Well, I was going to do winged liner, wasn't I? Hmm, actually I didn't really need to do that, but whatever. <laughs> and now I'm going to add some white liner to my waterline. I feel like I don't wear white liner very often, except for like festive time, because I think it makes the red lips and stuff really pop. So I'm using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Such an OG. Then I'm going to apply my glitter. Steely Glitter. So my trick to this product is that I apply it with a brush. I use a flat shader brush. This one is by EXO Beauty. Um, so then I just literally take the product off the brush and then just pack it on like that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
I love glitter around the holidays. It is so nice. I can hear Mr. Morton singing upstairs. That's really cute. I don't know if he appreciated his Christmas coffee as much as I hoped he would. I don't think he liked it, um, but I had a sip and it tastes so good. Hi dear, how are you? Good, I'm going for a run. Okay. Your shorts are on the inside out. So I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid liner to my top line. I don't think I'll wing it. I think I'll just add a little bit just to define it. So this is the Dolly Wink liner in black. And then add some mascara. Hello dear. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the backseat? Wow. I'm going to put lashes on today, which is not something I've done in a while. I'm using these ones by Quartz Beauty, the Amber Lashes. These are very pretty, but they are quite long. I'm just not used to using such big lashes anymore. I usually use the Quartz Beauty Jade lashes, which are quite small. They're a bit more my cup of tea. These are just a little bit probably too big and fluffy, but they do look pretty. I just feel a bit like a daisy cow on them. Pop on a little bottom lash mascara. Very big. <laughs> not my usual style, but um, very fun. So now for blush, I'm going to use the NARS blush in Dolce Vita, which is kind of like, I can't really describe this colour. It's kind of a dusty, rosy sort of colour with some subtle shimmer through it. I think it actually gives a bit more of a sort of autumnal winter look. It's usually something I'd bring out then. Considering most of my viewers are about to head into winter, I thought it'd be fun to pull this one out. But I will blob over top with my... Beauty Blender. And for highlight, I'm going to add this beautiful one from Burberry. This is the Fresh Glow Highlighter in number one. This one's really festive because it's kind of like snowy and sparkly. Super pretty. Add a little bit down my nose as well and especially on this little part. I find that it's so beautiful when it's highlighted. And then to finish that off, I'm going to use my Stila lipstick. Which I only pull this one out in December. <laughs> so that is what the makeup's turned out like. So glam. <laughs> I went full glam today, but it's super fun. I just love this lip colour. It is just perfect for this time of year. And the glitter's really cool too. Hello, you're looking a little more awake now. Since I gave you the advent calendar chocolate, I'm gonna have this one. Yum. I think I got the better deal. No, this is good. I get the but whole it, pack. It was not lint. Yeah, but the Christmas box comes with like a lot of treats. What's the Christmas box? It's a secret Christmas box that you don't get. Unless you want to enter my giveaway! <laughs> Could do. Mm. That might be a um, conflict of interest. No, I think so. <laughs> it is random, but please don't enter. I'll just buy you chocolate. <laughs> and this year's winner is Mr. Morton! <laughs> oh. Time for a run? Time for a run. Alright, bye! Me over and for me oh. Who's excited? What I want for Christmas, Anna, all I really want for Christmas is the top of my head in your videos. That'd be so good. Hey, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Christmas came early this year. There you go. If it were up to me, Christmas would be set up 24th. Oh. It'd be down on the 26th. No, it's a so grinchy. It's not grinchy. It's quite grinchy. We have to live amongst all this glitter and stuff. I am already late. Late setting up Christmas, doing it on December 1st. Like, YouTube gets into this like a month ago. I like having a whole month of Christmasness. I think that for me feels great. Because like then, as soon as it's January, it's like my birthday month. Yeah, so I know, but you can, you can have a, both, a month of <laughs> both. And it's my birthday month in December. That's unfair. You're stealing my thunder. I'm sorry. So I've pulled out my festive table runner, which is so cool. I got this from H&M Home last year. We've just got to give it an iron because it's a bit crinkly. I remember giving it an iron last year before I folded it away, but it hasn't done so well. It's going to replace this plain one on here. The thing with our house is it's fairly festive year round. <laughs> like I have things like this sitting out because I love deer and antlers and sparkly things and gold. Like this is not just something I randomly bought. This is actually my grandma, so it's really special. So it sits on display all the time. Oh, yeah. This is a little Christmas book I just bought the other day. It's so cute. This is set out all year. This is a cute little festive -y thing. So if you can do that ironing for me, that'd be great. And I will set up the decorations. Box number one. I've got this cute little thing. I got this from 
uh, Coles last year. And when these little block things spell out Noel, they're cute, they can go somewhere. And I've got this little like tea light holder, which is really cute. And then lots of these little guys, which I'm hoping to hang off the fiddle leaf fig. So we'll see how we go, as well as a lots of lights. Um, we probably won't need all the lights this year, probably just one set. Last year we put a real tree there and I loved having a big thing of, you know, greenery there, like a big tree. So when the Christmas tree had to go, that was my incentive to buy my beautiful giant fiddle leaf. That wasn't your incentive, was it? I it was, loved it. Well, yeah, but it was also part of the incentive. I knew I needed something big, as big as the Christmas tree to go in that spot. Now I'm gonna try and figure out how to hang these little like decorations up on them. I'm gonna try and make like little hooks out of gold paper clips. I have this massive Ziploc baggie of paper clips. What do you think? Uh, it's pretty gorgeous, man. It's cute, eh? Better than a real Christmas tree. I love it! It turned out actually way better than I expected. Mm. I thought it might look, end up looking a bit naff, but it actually looks very cute. It's gonna look even better at night time, I think, yeah. as well. Alrighty, so I've pretty much finished setting up all my decorations. I'm so happy with them. My fiddle leaf looks amazing. And then my table runner is turned up okay. It's got a little stain on it from last year's gravy. We've tried to iron it twice now and it just won't get smooth. I'm just not sure what's wrong with our iron or with the tablecloth. Um, but I just think that's gonna look so nice on Christmas Day all set up. I am super excited to read this as well. So I have Beth's other book, Wabi Sabi, which is about like Japanese culture. And I'm really enjoying that, but I'm actually going to finish reading that and then wrap it up and give it to my mum for Christmas. Because <laughs> I think she'd really enjoy it. And that is very much in the essence of the book itself. And then I bought Beth's other book, her new one, Calm Christmas, which is a book all about like Christmas joy. Little stairwells looking cute. I always had those lights there, but I don't really use them much throughout the year. But now that they're, now it's December, I feel like I can have them there. Put a little Noel sign down there. And up here on the wall, we have our advent calendar just stuck there. And look, my fiddle leaf. He sprouted another new leaf. This is his like, Wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five, so sixth leaf this season, which is crazy. And I can see there's even another bud starting. So it's gonna have grown seven leaves. That's amazing. Plants looking real cute. Also, I gave this one a trim the other day. It was much longer and it was sort of getting in the way. Of and I've propagated the cuttings and look, they are starting to grow roots, which is very exciting. So when they've rooted a bit more, I'll be able to put them into soil. Okay, I know this is meant to be a festive vlog, but I'm gonna show you my spring onions as well. <laughs> so about two days ago, um, I bought some spring onions from the supermarket, cut them up, put them in a little container in the fridge. And instead of throwing away the roots, I actually stuck them in some water. And as you can see, they are already amazingly starting to sprout. Ready, night time. Ready to watch Love Actually? I sure am. Yes. Beautiful, look my candle trees looking beautiful. It is pretty pretty. It's very pretty. Oh, I love Christmas in here. Corinthian. These things really remind me so much of Christmas. They are just great. I'm gonna put one of my hot chocolate. I bought this hot chocolate today, Lint Master Chocolate. Oh, looks so good. I've got marshmallows and we have popcorn. And we're gonna watch Love Actually and Snuggle because it's really cold today, it's like 14 degrees. <laughs> I know, all the Canadians are laughing. Really? I have to put my sweater on. Okay, but it is December, which means it's like the 1st of June. 14 degrees in summer feels a lot colder than it does in winter. That's right, you tell them, Anna. I will tell them. I will tell those Canadians that laugh at me. But really, I love you guys. Canadians are so nice. And a little straw. Now the hot chocolate comes through the straw. It's amazing. Yeah. 
Enjoy. Uh, you can have the good side of the couch because you made it. Thank you. I love you. Hi guys. Thank you so much for watching today. This was really fun. It's been a while since we've been vlogging properly. Oh that was fun. Uh, yeah. We'll mm. do more. But just, you know, not weekly. Got a bit <laughs> much. Got a bit much, didn't it, dear? Too much to do. This was fun. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you want to interact with me between my videos, definitely pop over to my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And if you're new here, then make sure you subscribe as well for more beauty and lifestyle content. And and until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and I'll talk to you then. Bye. Bye. Oi. Oi. We give our parts in the nativity play. <gasps> and I'm the lobster. In the nativity play? Yeah, first lobster. There was more than one lobster present at the birth of Jesus. Duh.